Liquid nitrogen is extremely cold with a boiling point of around negative 196 degrees Celsius. When I pour it into the jug, it rapidly evaporates and turns into nitrogen gas, which occupies a significantly larger volume than its liquid state. This expansion exerts pressure on the walls of the jug. This pressure buildup seeks to escape the confines of the jug, leading to a buildup of internal pressure. As the pressure inside the jug increases, it pushes against the water and any remaining liquid nitrogen, creating a force that should propel the jug upward. As the jug is inverted, the expanding nitrogen gas pushes against the water, creating an upward force. The density of liquid nitrogen is much lower than that of water. The less dense nitrogen rises rapidly through the denser water, aiding further to its propulsion. This entire process can be explained by Newton's third law of motion which states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. As the expanding gas pushes upward against the water, the jug experiences an equal and opposite upward force, causing it to shoot into the sky. It's important to note that this experiment is dangerous. Liquid nitrogen is extremely cold and can cause frostbite or severe cold burns. What you want to do is pour it and then flip it over. The opening goes this way. The opening goes in. Right. And the back goes yep. In. Okay. Ready? Yep. gonna be a good one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Additionally, the pressure buildup in the jug can lead to the jug bursting or exploding if not carefully controlled. This experiment should only be conducted in a location that is void of people and buildings.